Hi guys, the Force Nine here from the Force Nine's YouTube channel. In Bruges episode, well, episode one, because the introduction was episode zero. So this is episode number one. We're going to do our first live commentary in the series. We're against Brussels. It's the first day of the season, and uh, pre-season could have gone a bit better. We'll say that much. Uh, I played seven games. I did add a couple of other pre-season friendlies. One against uh, Steen Bruges, who are an amateur team um, based in Bruges. And uh, a friendly against Brighton, of course, you know who they are from the championship. Could have gone a bit better. We won four of the games, but the three that we lost, we lost pretty badly. So uh, they could have gone a bit better. So let's go through them very quickly. So Chateau was the first one. It was a 1-0 win. Descend with a goal. I think I think most of our goals so far have been scored by defenders, strangely. Descend is a defender. He scored. Then we lost 5-1 at home against Nantes. Nantes, they're a good team, of course. You know, we've, we've faced them before. Uh, in the Leon series, we had a few live comms against them. Uh, Sig Porson scored a hat trick for them, and uh, Bedoya also scored two goals in the second half. And they won 5 1 at our stadium, so that could have gone a bit better. Steen Bruges, well, lesser opposition, but it was a 4 0 win. Wills, Viola, Sukuta Pasu, and Martins with the goals there. Viola, a loan signing from our uh, senior affiliate, Sporting Lisbon. Uh, then we won 2 0 against Brighton. Cornelis and Ivans with the goals here. Again, both defenders. Cornelis was uh, took the, scored the penalty. The, he was the captain, so I decided he should take it because I have a penalty taker as well in the squad. 2 1 1 away from home against Burgos of Spain. Valky and uh, Cabananga. I'm gonna, I, what I'm calling Cabanga. I, he's not South African, is he? He's from. Uh, is that Congo? DR, DR Congo. Gabanga, of course, that um, chant from the 2010 World Cup, which was supposed to give a positive um, a positive atmosphere. But I don't know if it actually did or not. It didn't work for England, anyway. Then we had two awful results. 5-0 defeat against the uh, against UD Logroñes. I think I, I, I probably said that wrong, but I don't know. They're a Spanish third-tier team, and they beat us 5-0. Ubis and TT with two goals each, and Santos scored in the second half. Then we lost 3-1 at home against uh, Sabadell, uh, another Spanish team there in the Liga Adelante. We actually took the lead in that one, but then we went behind. Uh, they scored three goals in the second half. So, a uh, bit of a mixed bag pre-season. But um, we won some games, but then we lost some games as well. And today, we're against Brussels. How have they been doing? Uh, I think we looked at this before, actually. They're floating around the middle. So, yeah, we'll be doing that game shortly. Um, I've made two signings. Uh, they're both loan signings, and we're not paying any wages. So, uh, we're not actually losing any money from them. But we, we're, we're having to pay back state loans and bank loans and stuff like that. So, money-wise, as we'll see, we're not looking very good. Projected balance for the season is minus 5 million. And this month, we're expected to lose around £300,000, which is not good. Uh, when we started, the wage budget was around, well, available wage budget was around minus 7,000. At one point, because um, they did like, automatic contract renewals and people signed uh, professional contracts, and for some reason it gave all well, those grade out players some contracts as well, that went to almost minus 10,000. But we've managed to get it down to minus 500. And I've offered some new contracts to some of the guys that expire in a year with some pay cuts. And that should level out, at least it'll be positive, if not zero. So that's good. So I've released a bunch of players. There they are, seven players there, which I thought were either not good enough or not really needed. Uh, the two people brought in, Valentin Viola from uh, Sporting Lisbon. A uh, striker, also plays as a right side, midf right side midfielder. Um, looks okay. Um, his report was good. He's four-star current, four-star potential. So I think this is a good loan signing, at least just for this season, just to... Add an extra man to the squad, really. We're not paying any wages for him, so that's okay. Uh, and I did want to get an experienced goalkeeper in on loan, but I, we, I tried to get Jakubovic, the whole goalkeeper, but um, they wanted his wages paid him for, which we couldn't do. So the only goalkeeper we could have gone for that was actually available for loan and with no wages paid was uh, Paolo Gazaniga. I probably said that wrong, and I'm, I apologise for the last two syllables of that name. I don't know if it's like Niga, Gazaniga or something. I don't, yeah, whoever he is. Um, Southampton player uh, played a few games in the league for Southampton in the past couple of years uh, he kind of lost out in the squad to uh, Arthur Burrich though um, I believe it yeah so he kind of lost out in that squad and he's come here on loan um, I haven't had a chance to play him yet because he did have an injury like two days before we signed him uh, he's only, he j only just come back from it so we've done that 
uh, and then outgoings so these seven players here were released on a free just because they were never going to be good enough so i've just done a mutual termination and they accepted to have their contracts terminated because we got relegated so i thought yeah actually worked quite well actually so with the guys that are going to be signing new contracts as well if we go to all players um, then we go contract. So most of the well, so these guys are Ivans and uh, Smolders. Uh, they were on quite high wages and they have been cut. So um, we will be saving a bit of money there as well. So I think the uh, wage should be about leveled out in terms of our budget. But we still have zero transfer budget, so we really, we can't buy any players. We need to because the squad at the moment, while it has potential, currently it's just not good enough. I mean, if we look. Go to assistant reports. I mean, yeah, in terms of potential, that's yeah, potential's great. And then current ability. Some of these guys are good, but then some of the guys down here say it's these that we need to improve. It's these guys, you know, we do need to start games, we need to be giving you for chance, but we need experience. Our, our, it's a very young squad, as you can see, lots of teenagers and lots of like 22s and 24s. The squad's quite quite young. And I think we need to get some experience in if we are going to make signings. And we do we do need signing. We need another right back. Like desperately. We only have one really that uh, is actually a natural right back. The only other one we have is... Um, well, who else do we actually have that can play it on the right? Van Roos. But he's he's mainly a central midfielder. Verkindir. He's only 17. We, we need to buy players. And we can't. It's frustrating. But... We we'll have to make do with what we have. You know, the first season is just a chance to develop players. Really, we are expected to get promoted in our first season. I don't know if it will happen or not. Uh, if it doesn't, then I do hope that we won't lose our job. But we'll get to, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So let's go into today's game: Brussels against Circle Bruges. Uh, my tactic: I have this tactic at the moment, but that could change again because. Uh, well, so far it's either gone really well or really, really badly. So this is the tactic. Uh, I used the same one in my um, Charlton series. And then I did also have like a 4-2-4 where I moved a guy up there as well. But um, I think for now, this will be our tactic. If you have any, any tips or tricks uh, or suggestions for alternatives, then by all means, give them to me. I don't want to use wing backs because we you know we don't really have wing backs. And the same with wide midfielders. So I think we have to play four at the back, really, and we can't really have like a, we can't have right, right, right and left midfielders. I think they have to be attacking midfielders, and to go like four, two, four as well is that might be a bit top heavy. I'm not quite sure. I did also teams were having two defensive midfielders that could work as well. Uh, in fact, I am going to try that today. Uh, we need to get Van Roos out of there then, um, and we'll play Van Acker, and then. Let's just do a quick pick and see what he gives us. So there's a quick pick. Okay, so we've got Cabanang, Cabanga on the right, Daney on the left, Martins, and D.A. and Van Acker. Pretty happy with that, I think. Um, is Van Acker, could he play that? I'll have him as a roaming playmaker, I think, Van Acker. It's going to take a while to get into this, it really is, just because... No, it's 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 an entire it's a, it's a new team to me. It's a team that I don't actually get a chance to play. Uh, Canapu has to get some games. I mean, he could be a superstar in the future. Again, only eighteen now, but I mean, his potential is through the roof. I mean, look at like acceleration and pace is eighteen. Just what is that? Wow. So we got Dusen centre back. I don't think we need two centre backs. Uh, we've got Borden who can play on the left. So we have. Um, Verkin Deer. Uh, I don't think we need these three strikers really, do we? Haroons and Smolders. Um, Matthew Martins will lose. Um, we'll lose Valky, I think. I think we'll leave it at that. We'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so let's go to the actual match then. Well, we'll do the team talks in that first. Uh, no comment. Are they really surprises? I don't know. No comment. No comment. That hasn't been a change of tactic. This is the only tactic we use. We have used two strikers in some of the games, but again, sometimes it's paid off and sometimes it hasn't. Uh, apparently, we're favourites, so uh, show me what you can do. 
I suppose we have just been relegated, so again, we are expected to come straight back up. Let's see how we do. The first highlight is over. Um, 15 minutes played now. A couple of shots each. Well, Brussels have had five shots, but nothing on target yet. There's Martins, Dehaney, and we've got a goal already, and it's running really slowly. Like, really slowly. Right, let's see if this is running better. It was a bit slow at first, but let's see if we can actually get it to run a bit better now. So we've got a 1-0 lead. That's not too bad. Happy with that. Good start. Like I said, pre-season was a bit hit and miss. So against a, a, an actual competitive game, I don't know how we'll do it. I could not predict how this will go. And Deere with a header. Martin Martins. And then Dehaney there, the left midfielder with the goal. Actually, he was, he's been targeted by Zoltivarigan, who are in the Belgian Pro League. So, uh, we need to try and hold on to him if we can. And uh, Martins has picked up a knock. That's not what I wanted. It's half-time. We've got a lead. Um, well, I think, yeah, you played well so far, but there is room for improvement. Now, I want to try and stay away from injuries as much as possible so I think we need to take him off but we don't have another attacking midfielder so I'm going to drop him down and we'll have uh, Haroon in there and what can what's Haroon he's ball winner isn't he we'll try, yeah we'll have uh, Haroon actually no deep line playmaker we'll go with defend as well we'll, try, we'll, we'll keep it at 1-0 I mean we could we could get more let's try you know I do want to double that lead and uh, Valentin Viola could do here. He passes to Cornelis. Can the captain get across in? He can. Cabanaga's there. It's saved by the goalkeeper. And it's cleared away. Cabanga was offside. I'm calling him Cabanga. That's just his name now. And here he is. Van Acker. Cabanga. Cabanga. Go. Shoot. Oh, another save. Lots of shots on targets by Circle of Rouge. But, um... Brussels have had 11 shots and they haven't had a single one on target yet. Count, we're using counter structure at the moment. In fact, let's just pause it. I'll show you what I'm doing. I've got counter structure and I change it to control if I need to. And our instructions at the moment are these. So direct passing, pump ball into box, uh, hit early crosses and float them, run at defence, push high up, low tempo, close down less, offside trap. And I always put short goalkeeper distribution to stop them from playing it short. I always put that in ev every team, every tactic. It seemed to work, so that's what I do. Here's Viola here, and that's a shot. It's a save. Cabanga with a rebound. It's two 0 Sixty-three minutes played, and we're going well so far. I'm happy with this. Uh, Dessel have a, a four-goal lead in their game against Capellan. Again, I, I don't know how well these guys did last year. I, I, not off the top of my head, anyway. So we'll keep going. 75 minutes play now. I do want to make another change. Um, it needs to be either in a Van Acker or in DA or Cabanaga. Cabanga. Um, right, it's going to have to be one of those two deep ones. We'll play Matthew Martins in place of Van Acker. And we'll, well, I don't want to have to make my last one, but the guys are looking tired, so it's going to be hard. Fitness is going to be an issue an issue early on here and we're gonna, we need to make that other change it needs to be in DA so I'll move him back up to there we'll have Martins as the lone um, defence midfielder and we'll play Tim Smolders and then we'll have to leave it there the guys going forward Cab Cabanga and uh, Dehaney again looking tired Smolders have a free kick here it's saved there's no Clermont Grunier no I'm going to miss Grognier, I'll tell you that much, you know, from my last series. Grognier and his free kicks just blew me away sometimes. I'm going to miss him. If I could sign him at some point on a future save, that would be amazing. He's turned into like a real hero of mine. As is Lacazette, who's been tar targeted by Liverpool recently, actually. Um, 21 million is apparently his release clause as well, or 24. One, one of those two. I take that, that's good. 21 million for... A striker like that, I mean, if he's as good as the, he is on the game, which I think he is, personally. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Uh, please do your defensive efforts. Right, let's try and save this team talk then. I just went with whatever the other guy says, and it wasn't really that good. 
So that wasn't a great team talk, actually. Oops. I just went with whatever the assistant said. So that probably wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, so, well, well, we started off with a win. That's good. 2-0 away from home. Uh, so Dessel uh, actually won 5-3 in the end. 5-2, rather. I was looking at their goal difference. And they have just, they haven't long come up from the third division, actually, and they've started very well. Uh, open. Please help me with these pronunciations, people. I mean, come on. Um, op open? Open, maybe? Uh, were in the Pro League in 2011, came back down. Well, they are only in it for a season, came back down. They'd been there for a couple of years. I'm just looking at the guys that did well here. Uh, OHL were the ones that lost badly. Um, they've just been relegated from the top flight as well, along with us, haven't they? They finished 15th. Well, no, they, no, they actually did. They actually did get relegated. Okay, well, I'll have a look at that in more detail. Well, well I'll, I'll have a look off screen and see where people actually finished last year because this is a new league with a martial update as well. So, um, good two 0 win. Borden made his debut. I think he's going to be a good. That was a great signing before I even got here. A good free. How is he a free transfer? I mean, he's good. You can play it on the left as well. I think Borden could be a key defender for us. Um, could be the Amtiti of this save maybe post-match press conference um, it's just a temporary deal because we just can't afford him really I don't know how much it actually costs uh, there's still room for improvement but you know we started with a win um, it was a pleasing victory If the right player becomes available, that could change. Good team performance, but Cabanga was one of the best ones, I think. Second league kicks off. So there we go. Um, that first one is over, the first game. So uh, where will we pick up? You see, we don't have any rivalries or like local derbies or anything like that. So it's going to be difficult to know what to do next. I think I'd like to try and have four or five... Um, games in between live comms we could go with Antwerp they have been in Division 2 for a good 10 years or so now or uh, Giel where are they they haven't come up from the third tier I think we'll do the Antwerp game next it's a home game so uh, we'll be playing at the uh, whatever our stadium is called What was our stadium called? Jan, there it is. Jan Bridal Stadium. So uh, we'll be playing at home in our next one. Um, and let, we won't have any games in between them. Uh, we have a Belgian Cup fourth round game to uh, contest against. It'll be either uh, against either Union Real Namur, who are a semi-pro team in the fourth division, or Jeunesse Lorraine Arlon. Now Jeunesse means youth. So. Oh, it's just a name. It's not actually a youth team. Lorraine Arlon, they're also in the fourth division. So we'll pl be playing one of those two in the fourth cup, fourth round, fourth cup, fourth round of the Belgian Cup. And our next live commentary. So there will be five games in between, and our next live com will be at home against Antwerp. And I'm going to try and get that out tomorrow if I can. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode, first live commentary, this first actual episode in which is a game. Um, hopefully, the, well, it should be the first of many. We'll see how we do with Circle of Bruges. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a bit different from uh, some of those saves I've done in the past. So, yeah, it should be good. Thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.